Well, Sean, you've been keeping close tabs on what is happening with the season with the Golden Knights. Of course, everyone's wondering what will happen come August with the Raiders. But what about those very special athletes right here in our Valley that participate in the Special Olympics? Well, do not fret, do not worry. They've got an answer for that. And here with that answer is Harry Mong III. He is the Director of Nevada Programs and Partnerships with Special Olympics Nevada. How are you, Harry? Good. Thanks for having me. All right. So I'm thinking, you know, the summer games is a really exciting time for the athletes. And right now, obviously, we're all pretty much staying away from one another. Uh, how are you able to pull this off? You got a virtual summer games going on, right? Yes. So we, um, you know, beginning of June, we would have hosted our annual summer games in Reno with 350 athletes and volunteers. Uh, like you said, we can't have that right now. So we transferred it all virtually. Um, we are offering a fitness competition along with basketball, track and field, swimming, and soccer competition, all training done at home. Nice. Uh, we provide them with training videos uh, for each sport and uh, athletes registered, signed up. And uh, one of the cool things is we're offering a, uh, a live competition uh, via um, uh, Zoom. Uh, athletes who registered for the fitness competition will be able to complete their fitness competition in front of staff and volunteers that will help officiate the fitness competition. Fantastic. Oh, awesome. Way to go. Way to be flexible during this time. You know, everyone is having to kind of find a new way to go about things. So, so happy to see that the Special Olympics is just kind of, you know, adjusting with the times. One thing I know, you know, I've participated in the Polar Plunge several years um, and been to other events here locally. I know that the athletes here in Southern Nevada, not only do they love participating in these sports, like you mentioned, that are going virtual, but they just love being together. So tell me how the Special Olympics has, um, you know, been able to keep athletes united during this time. Well, we've created uh, online programming through our Facebook uh, health and fitness at home page, and we've created uh, d uh, theme days such as Motivational Monday, Health Tip Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, uh, Thankful Thursday, Flexor Friday, Selfie Saturday, and Sunday Fun Day. Mm -hmm. So nice. we've, um, <sighs> we've, en we've engaged our athletes through uh, videos and through uh, Zoom calls like this. So we now do live programming. Um, and so we sit on um, our, our staff hosts um, live programming with our athletes being able to watch us. And we just uh, host social hours. And it's amazing how many athletes have access to this virtual programming. I think that um, sometimes we think that our athletes can't, won't figure out how to use Zoom or use their camera on the phone and whatnot. But it, it's been a great thing to find out that our athletes can utilize their phones, utilize their computers to yeah. engage with us while they're at home. It really is important right. that you guys were able to bridge the gap for this because I know how important these summer games are to your athletes. Uh, where, where can we learn more, first of all, about the summer games and maybe be able to watch some of this? So they can visit our website, sonv.org click on the virtual summer games tab and it'll take you to our info guide. Um, there you'll see a list of uh, events throughout the week. Opening ceremony uh, just happened and uh, to, uh, June 23rd through the 25th is our competition days and we'll have activity nights. Uh, Tuesday night is game night, Wednesday night is movie night and Thursday will be our um, virtual dance. Nice. Ooh, yeah. virtual dance. That sounds yeah. fun. Well, you, you got to have, have the dance. You got to have the dance. Yeah, you do. No, I agree. <laughs> you know what? You've got me thinking about some of these uh, friends that I've met through the Special Olympics of Southern Nevada. Sean and I would like to give a shout out right now. Ready, Sean? Yes. To all those athletes here in Southern Nevada, whether you're in track and field this summer, swimming, basketball, maybe you're playing soccer, we want you to go for it. Go for the gold. Put in your best effort. Let's see you do amazing stuff. It doesn't matter if it's a part of a big thing, part of a virtual situation. You're going to kill it. You're going to do great. Good luck contestants. Good luck athletes. Kill it this year. It's going to be great. I I'm excited. I'm ready. Yeah. Honestly, here's, here's my question. We love you. 
we should be able to put money on this. I want to. <laughs> I know oh, that the sports books need something to, to bet on. This could be an opportunity. I'm joking. It's great. Uh, I will. I will not suggest that. But if you happen to, you know, I get ten percent. <laughs> as long yes, as yes. as long as the proceeds I go want... back to Special Olympics Nevada, Correct. I think hundred percent. There we go. The, the vig goes you know, to Special Aaron, Olympics. When Sean makes suggestions, you just responded how I often do, and that is, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, it's great having you, buddy. It's, uh, congratulations on you know. I know it's been a tough, uh, a, a, a tough uh, deck that we've all been uh, dealt right now, and, and the fact that you've been able to make this happen virtually in such a quick, uh, quick way is pretty awesome. So, congratulations, and we're looking forward to this year's uh, this year's summer events. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, you want to learn more? Bye, buddy. You go to S O N V. Dot org. Really looking forward to a great organization uh, every year and even in a year like this when you think it couldn't happen, they make it happen.